guys I received something new for the channel let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what I have here panda hobby I wonder what this could be and there it is it's the Tetra 24 V2 124 scale crawler I want to thank panda hobby for sending this thing out to me Originally, I was interested in their 118th scale crawler. That one's been around for quite some time and has some great reviews. However, when I saw all the improvements they made to this 124 scale truck, I was really excited to test it out. Now, the first version of this truck, it really wasn't great. It had a lot of shortcomings to it, and there was a lot of owners that were not happy with this, understandably so. Now, Panda Hobby went ahead and sent out some replacement parts to address some of the shortcomings. And I'll go more into detail on those shortcomings a little later in this video. But this V2 version has, um, I think, virtually all of the shortcomings that were an issue with the V1 version addressed. And I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see how this truck works. But I'm really excited to have this Panda Hobby truck as my first RC crawler. And it's going to be great to do something a little different on the channel and transition from some speed runs and start working on some crawling videos as well. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up and see what's in the box. All right, so we have the truck, the transmitter, the owner's manual, and some accessories. In the accessory box, there is the USB charger. There's two AA batteries for the transmitter. A couple of Allen wrenches, a tool to remove the tires, and looks like these may be some caps for the end of the axles. Now this transmitter here, my initial impressions it's pretty basic, but it has a nice feel to it. It fits my hand well. It has steering trim, throttle trim, and it has three different levels for the throttle rate. There's low, medium, and high. Uh, there's a few other functions on here we'll look at later on because I'm not familiar with this transmitter quite yet. All right, and there's the truck. As you can see, it's kind of the look of a, um, maybe a modern Jeep. It's not a licensed body or anything, but it has a really nice look to it. Um, the tires are, are very soft. They're actually smaller than the V1 version. One of the complaints on the V1 version was the tires were too big. So when the suspension would articulate, it would sometimes hit the wheel arches and bind up and uh, would be pretty annoying. Now the body, it's actually attached to the chassis by magnets. So that's a really nice feature. There's no pins or anything. And then in here, the LiPo is already mounted. That's the 700 milliamp hour Li Ion battery that's included with this vehicle. Now the ESC, this was probably the biggest complaint on the V1 version. It did not have good throttle modulation. It was really just not a good ESC. This second version promises to be a lot better and have a lot more linear throttle response. So I'll definitely go ahead and test this out. One of the other issues was when the suspension would articulate, it would bump into the servo and uh, the motor as well. And that's been completely redesigned. The suspension geometry is completely changed and it's not supposed to have those binding issues that it did on the V1 version. So I will test that out and see, but from what I've read, it's greatly improved. And as you can see, it has really nice articulation of the suspension. And uh, another thing that's been changed on it is the motor. 
The original motor was not very powerful. It was a 60 turn brushed motor. The new one is a 51 turn brushed motor. And this is actually the same motor that's in the 18th scale Panda Hobby truck. And from what I've read, it performs really well. We'll test that out as well. A couple other minor things I'll mention is the wheel hubs. They stuck out too far in the previous version. The new ones, they're shorter. There are uh, CBD shafts in the front and also in the front, there are um, weighted front wheels to help lower the center of gravity of the vehicle. And these are beadlock wheels, which is a nice feature. So the truck also has LED lights, which we'll test those out later on in the video. But it's really nice with the body, how there's no pins or anything. You just throw it on, the magnets catch, and you're good to go. Now the truck also has portal axles and offers really nice clearance and good departure and approach angles. It has metal worm gears and it comes in orange, blue, black, and red. This one, of course, being the red. And here's a nice close-up of the truck. So to run the truck, all you have to do is take the power adapter and plug it into the slot there. Now the truck also comes with some stickers. This one's a nice touch. There's some product information. They have uh, this old school looking truck, a six by six, and of course the one here that we're gonna go ahead and test. There's different accessories you can get for the truck. There's the quick start and manual. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the transmitter and then turn on the truck. We're in business. That's the highest speed. Put it down to low. So that's how slow it can go, which is quite slow. The throttle's very easily modulated, from what I can see here. Let's put it up to high. Very cool. Can't wait to get this thing outside and try it out. The truck also has some really nice headlights and taillights. They're quite powerful and you can actually adjust the lights to do different functions. Here's on, there's flashing, and there's strobe. It's really nice how there's no wires you have to connect and disconnect for the lighting system when you put the body on and off. Everything's connected through the magnetic locking system. So if I pop the body off, the lights are off. Just throw the body back on and you're good to go.
So I just got back from running this crawler for about an hour and going into it, I didn't really quite know what to expect. I usually do speed runs and I like to do things that are exciting in that regard. And I wasn't sure if a crawler would be for me, but I don't even know how to put it into words. I had so much fun with this thing. It was like so exciting trying to find the different paths through the rocks and stuff that I was running it through and getting the line just right and controlling the throttle. This truck was awesome. Now, again, this is my first crawler, so I don't have anything else to compare it to, but the issues with the V1, I think they've been fixed. Like in the hour I ran this truck, it ran flawlessly. The ESC, the, the throttle control was real smooth. No issues there at all. I could give it just the tiniest amounts of throttle and it responded perfectly. Anywhere between that and full throttle, it ran great. The tires worked well, very little rubbing. Sometimes lock to lock, you get just a slight amount of rubbing, but not enough to really affect anything. Uh, the truck looks good out there. I found the motor had plenty of power. Anytime I tried to go up a steep incline, it was more traction limited or it may have tipped over, but I never was wanting for more power. So I think the uh, 51 turn motor in here was a good um, change for this thing. The uh, 700 milliamp hour ion battery. I probably ran this thing for about an hour and I didn't even charge it all the way before I went out. Um, now granted I was filming, so I wasn't running it nonstop, but the battery life I found to be quite good. The uh, articulation, the suspension, it was just so much fun watching this thing go over the terrain and watch the suspension do its job. And it looks really realistic. Um, I was kind of torn between looking through the viewfinder when I was recording this and just watching it and going through and doing the different lines over and over again. I mean, I'm kind of at a loss of words. This truck was awesome. I don't, you know, I don't know how the Traxxas or the axle version of this compares to this one, but I can't imagine somebody that's looking for their first crawler and getting this being disappointed. It, it was great. And I was also concerned with it being so small, that may have been disappointing, but where I was running it on that busted up concrete, it was perfect. Like a bigger crawler wouldn't have been as fun because it would have been too big for that area. And this, it just was win-win. I mean, it was great. So I'm definitely gonna do more content on this truck and um, look for that in the future. But I, I definitely recommend this truck. The only issue I had with it was there's these little black caps you put on the, the hex nuts and the two front ones fell off. When I put them on, I knew they weren't probably gonna stay on. I probably should have used some Loctite or something, but I was so excited to get this thing out there that I just ran it and I lost them. Not a big deal, but um, that's really the only issue I had with it. Uh, yeah. Panda Hobby really got it right with the second version of this. And uh, please leave some comments because, you know, I am new to this and I would like to hear what you guys think about this truck, this crawler from watching these videos. And if anything jumped out at you that maybe I missed, but this thing ran great. All right, that's it for now. Take care. Thank you.